today we're on the way to uh, my London offices to meet a guy called Joe Foster, who is the founder of Reebok. My therapist recommended it to me. Like, I'll talk to someone like-minded. There ain't many like-minded people out there to really ask, is there? Without them, like, going out your shan off. It's an um, honour to be able to sit around the table with someone like this. Mad even knows who I am, innit? <laughs> Yes, yes. TZ. Joe. Ah, how tell are me. you? Yeah. Pleasure. Great. Nice to meet you. Julie, yeah. how are you? Hello. Pleasure. Good. Sit down, Good. please. Good. Did you started Reebok at zero as well, yeah? And then oh, you yeah. took it yeah. to what, four billion? Well, that's that's when I left. Yes. How old was you when you when you when you got out? Fifty-four, coming up fifty-five. The family business. Yeah. My grandfather started in eighteen ninety-five. He invented the running spike. Yeah, yeah, I see that. In Bolton, yeah? Yeah, in I've Bolton. I've been to the factory. And uh, oh, he was great. I mean, you know, talk about influencers. He knew in those days how to influence people. Uh, I'm drawing yeah. a main question I want to ask. OK. How old is you? Have you got kids? Two. How old are you when you had kids? 25 and, and 31. How did you balance building such a big, massive company and family life at the same time? You know, in, in the generation that, that we're talking about, men went out to work, women didn't. Yeah. yeah. Women stayed home and, and looked after children. They had children. Predominantly. Yeah. Dads were not as, like, hands-on. Yeah, cos like, I've, I've got nearly a year old and, yeah. like, my business is flying and uh, I've just um, launched in America, Australia, Canada, and it's like I'm struggling mm. to go because I feel terrible leaving the baby. So, like, if I do do a trip, I'm trying to do it in 12 hours and come home. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like... I feel selfish for what I'm trying to build is for myself, but at the same time, I'm doing it for my family as well. How did you handle the stress with a business as well? I don't think I really had stress. I don't know whether I was too stupid or whatever it is, but it was just like a mission. My dream was to get to America. Oh, really? I had 11 years of going to America, knocking on the door. What got us in, of course, was in America, running became a big thing. All during the 70s, 35 million Americans running. By late 80s, we overtook Adidas, we overtook Nike, and we wow. were the number one global sports... Uh, wow. Shoe manufacturers. That's yeah, some story, that, isn't it? <laughs> wow, I thought I was doing well. <laughs> How yeah. did you hand over to someone to run the company for you? For me, it wasn't a matter of owning the company. I'm the founder. And you've got to say, well, what do you want to do? Do you want to sort of uh, be the owner of something that can be mediocre? Or do you say, well, look, I've done it to this point, and I'm, I'm still happy to do more, but, you know, bring in new blood. What an so, answer. That's the answer I yeah. needed to hear, that is. It always relies on people. Was that the main goal, Joe? Like, to get it to a part where it runs itself, where you can turn your phone off and never have to worry? Was that, was that an ambition for you to do that? No, because you don't dream of that. You only dream of the challenges, the growth, the continuation. But the realisation is that even from early days, one man can't do it all. I've took more from Joe than you could ever imagine. So different, so many different things. I'll get you something. They're nice. God, Are you allowed so to wear anything else than Reebok? Um, am I allowed to wear anything? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. So, yeah, we'll no, we'll say there's a connection. We're family now. That's right. We're family now, 100%. Yeah, we work very hard on, like, innovating constantly. That's why I don't feel like I get much time off, cos I can't stop thinking. <laughs> I just can't turn my head off. You know, you'll not get peace from that. You can't turn that off. Never. It's a mechanism that just goes. Oh, you, really? You can never turn it off. Does, no. does it calm down a little bit at any, any stage? No. Really? Probably go worse. I'll get more. When you've got that personality that me and Joe have got, it's never-ending. So one thing I really want to learn and really, really work on is how I can maybe tone it down a little bit. I want to try and live in the moment a little bit, and I just want to try and... I don't want to come complacent, but I want to... I want to have a bit of peace in my life. How's that for a first person to come to the showroom with Joe Foster? That's sad to come off the bucket list, isn't it? 